All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to test a dual capacitor. Normally you see these in uh, air conditioned outside units. Uh, basically the way that this works is if you'll look at the backside, you can see there's a 45 slash five and that's a micro farad is what it's called. Uh, 45 slash five means if you touch two of these, it'll be 45 and then the other two will be five. The five, means it'll be plus or minus 5%. So basically it won't be exactly five. It may be a little over, maybe a little under. It won't be exactly 45, maybe be a little up, above or maybe a little under. So it's plus or minus 5%. Um, you really wanna get, when you purchase a new one, you wanna make sure that that's as close to zero as you could get. Uh, 440 volt AC. So basically what that means is it has a capacity of up to 440 volts AC. What that also means is if you have an application that's only 200 volts or 300 volts, anything below this, you could still use this capacitor if you're looking for 45 or 5 microfarad. The voltage just means that it'll withstand up to that voltage. 50 or 60 hertz talks about how many cycles of power. Uh, the rest of this really is just part numbers. Um, really nothing big there on, on as far as the rest of these numbers go. So what we're really going to pay attention to is you can see there's a C for common, H for Herm, which I believe is a hermetically, um, it's the compressor basically. That's where the compressor is hooked up. The other one is the fan. So basically what you want to do is you want to touch your black negative terminal between the C and the fan. And I believe on this one, you should get the five and then between the C and the Herm, you should get 45. Now, before you start messing with these, and I already did this, you wanna take an insulated screwdriver. See how the handle is not metal. It's not conducting in any way, but this is metal. You wanna to touch some of these terminals together to discharge this. A capacitor is basically a fast charging and discharging battery. So you don't want it to shock you because it can hurt, especially if it can hold up to 440 volts. Here's the one that I'm gonna to use to replace it. And you can see it's a different size, but it is the same amount. So it could go from 370 um, to 440. So basically what this means is um, it'll work with 370, but it goes as high as 440. I'm not really sure why they're putting the 370 on there. I guess to show people that the voltage could be anything below 440 and it'll still apply. Uh, but you can also see on this one, it's funny, it's actually filled with vegetable oil. So it's supposed to be more um, environmentally friendly. Uh, and then you can also see capacitance is 45 and 5 plus or minus 5%. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where you could get this same one or there's several different ones listed. It's an Amazon store that I saw where there were several of these listed. I'll also put a link where you could get a meter like this if you're interested. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this over to the capacitor setting, which is this little line right here. So we're gonna put it on that and I'm gonna show you how to test this. So you wanna go from common, which is C. You can see here's the common right here. So I'm just gonna put it in one of the holes. And the first one I'm gonna test is the fan. And let's see what it goes to. Now notice it takes a second. That's because the meter has to put a current through this battery basically it's a battery before you could get a charge back to show you what the setting is so you can see it's 4.35 that's that's close enough that would work remember it's plus or minus five percent now we're going to go to the herm side and you can see it comes up with 1.757 now it was supposed to be 45 so you can see we're pretty far off of 45 so this is bad now in some videos i noticed people will actually touch the the common, they'll touch the other one and it'll look like basically, it'll say, oh well, if I could get it to show it. Oh well basically means that you're not making a connection at all. It'll look like that. That means it's not making a connection. That's definitely bad. That means it's not even connected enough to give you a reading. But what you also wanna be aware of is you have to read the number on the side, the 45 and the five, Yours could be 60 and five or 60 and 20, it doesn't matter. Whatever yours says, that's what you should be getting when you do your measurement. Mine's just 45 and five. 
Now I've got a new one. It's not the same size around. That does not matter. It's still gonna work. So let's do a measurement on this one and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so on this one, we're gonna go to the common and we're gonna go to the fan and we should be at five. And there it is, plus or minus 5%. Remember, it could be under five or above. Now we're gonna go from the common to the herm. We should be close to 45. And it is, 46. So that's a good one. Anyway, that's how you test it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please uh, give us a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe. Check out our other videos. Thanks.